Hello friends, it's me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're here for the first time, here are your jazz hands. And today I'm here with another trunk club. <laughs> um, this is our trunk club for April 2018, and I'm pretty excited. If you are not familiar with Trunk Club, it's another subscription box like Dia & Co. It works basically the same way with one major difference, and this is the really cool part. So you pay your styling fee. It's $5 more for this than Dia & Co., so it's $25 for the styling fee. But you work with your stylist, who's always the same one, and they pull together a whole trunk of looks for you, and then they give you a preview. So they show you a lot of the things that they've selected, and you can say, um, don't send this, don't send this, don't send this, whatever, you know, if you just look at it and you know, that's not for me, <laughs> I'm never going to wear that, I don't want that. So that's really cool, and then they'll replace those items with new ones, add more things to the trunk, and send it off to you. So I've done this now like three or four times, I don't remember how many, and I really enjoy the whole trunk club experience. It feels very nice. I feel very taken care of by my stylist, which is nice, um, and everything is thought through very well, so the user experience um, is very easy, and I like that. So we're going to jump in. The thing about trunk club is that their trunks are huge, and they send you a ton of pieces. So I do these try-ons a little bit differently. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to try it on and talk about it. So let's get to it. Here's the little envelope that comes with it. I'm not actually going to look because I can't really um, read the note that is inside without seeing the prices, and I like to not see the prices until later. So let's jump into it and just start trying on. All right, so I'm starting here with these Not Your Daughter's Jeans denim shorts. I like them, but I don't love them, and I've been on a shorts journey and have really found some great shorts, and these are just not doing it for me. <laughs> these are a size 28, Not Your Daughter's Jeans, and they have their whole, like, stomach pushing thing that they like to do. Their whole thing is, like, make yourself smaller so that you're more appealing to the world, and that just annoys me. Um, and it makes it less comfortable, because like I really feel that pushing here. But then the legs are just like too big. Anyway, I just don't think they look cute on me, and they're too long, which is not, like I'm not gonna be mad at them about that, because everything is always too long for me. Um, I think these are supposed to be knee length, and I would imagine they're supposed to fit like tighter to the leg. I don't know what I'm doing, but it feels like uncomfortable. So I am going to keep these on though because there are a lot of tops in my trunk and um, I am just going to you know, pair them with the shorts, but I think these shorts are definitely out of the running for me. I do like the way that they come up nice and high in the back. They actually accommodate like my big butt and don't, you know, end up down here, which is what a lot of shorts do. So I do appreciate this about the fit that they come up high enough so that my like butt is not hanging out um, and that it is comfortable in the waist, but don't love them. So, but let's start the parade of tops. Okay, we'll start here with this Sejour top. This is a size 3X, um, but it fits me great. Here, <laughs> let me just start. This material is so soft, like so soft. I love, love, love soft material. Um, this is perfect for summer. It's super lightweight and flowy. Look at this detail though. I love this. Look. Oh. <laughs> I like really love this whole like whoo <laughs> thing. I can like totally flash people really easily. Um, but I just, you know, it feels very breezy and fun. And you know, it's very thin so it's like see-through so you can like wear a dark bra underneath and it feels kind of sexy a little bit. Um, if you don't like that look, then you would not like that. I think it looks, I mean, I don't like the shorts, but I think that, you know, it looks good with denim shorts. It's very stretchy. Um, this is a size 3X. It fits me great, and it could fit someone larger than me. I really like this top. When I held it up, I was like, yeah, whatever. But, like, I feel very cute in it, and I love this thing. Ugh. And now with wings. <laughs> this is the Michelle Studio. It's actually the first of two shirts that have this same material used, which I think is interesting that she sent two things. Um, they have very different styles though. So this has these like fun wing things 
And this front part is not stretchy, but the whole back, all this black, is stretchy. So that at least gives you a little room for fit. If this whole thing were not stretchy, I don't know that it would fit. But it does. It's got a little vent on each side. I think it looks cute. I'm not sure how I feel about the wings, but it's very comfortable. And I do really like this material. It's very soft and it has um, a really subtle texture to it. Like not much, but just a little something which makes it feel a little richer, a little nicer, which is cool. Um, yeah, not bad. I'm anxious to see what the other shirt looks like on. I wonder if it's like more me. I don't hate this at all. Here's the other one. I do like this one better. This feels a little more me. Um, so this is one shirt, but it's like a fake layering look. So you have this mesh and then the straps. And what's cool is that the straps are just tacked down. So they're not like completely sewn down, which makes it a little more realistic actually that you're layering pieces and not just wearing one whole thing together. So this is actually that material front and back. And I just said, I wasn't sure if it had been front and back, if it would fit. It does fit around my hips, but there's not a lot of space. And so when I sit down, you know, it'll definitely go tight. Um, it has a little bit of give in it, so it would probably be okay. Um, the sleeves fit nicely. Uh, I think it's so, <laughs> I think it's really cute. And this is a style that I do a lot, is put like a little t-shirt or a little mesh t-shirt underneath uh, spaghetti strap dresses or even a tank dress. So this feels very, Laura Burns, I think this would look cute with that um, Ashley Nell Tipton big black skater skirt that I have. Can you imagine that, like, that, like, high-waisted? I think that would be really cute. But I also think that it looks cute, like, just with jeans. Um, I don't know how it would look, like, kind of tucked in a little bit. I'm pretty into this shirt, I have to say. And the whole, like, how tight it is down here, um, I'm not sure. I have to think about that and see. I have to like sit down and see how it feels. It's probably fine because it does have that little bit of like that tiny amount of stretch. But I just love up here. I think it looks so cute. Next up is this Rebel Wilson black like knotted shirt. It's okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't love it. I don't like that it has to be like this and that it is so much higher like than the side or the back. Um, I feel like that kind of limits like what I would wear it with and like feel comfortable wearing it with, but um, look how white my stomach is. <laughs> I'm, it has not seen the sun in like a year almost. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's very soft. The material does feel nice, but you know, it's probably very expensive based on how expensive that skirt was in the last box. I just feel like this shirt is probably going to be like $60 or something for a t-shirt. Um, I mean, it's cute, but it's just not like screaming at me. Here's the next thing. It is another Rebel Wilson shirt and it does not fit me. <laughs> it's a 3X, which is also what the other shirt was. And it's just too small. Like it fits in the hips because it's a peplum, but other than that, like it's just too small. If this were my correct size, it might fit. It might still be too small. If you <laughs> I turn to the side you can see it's like flat it's really like pulling me in I even like pulled my boobs up which is why I have so much cleavage right now um it's basically acting as like a push-up bra <laughs> it's not comfortable at all I would not wear this out and then this is not sitting where it should it should be like this I mean I think it's very cute if this were in my size I would be all over it but it just <laughs> does not fit um, which is a bummer because look, it's very cute. So if you um, are like me, so this is a 3X. I would say if you were a 24, you could wear this 3X. It feels very small to me. Um, maybe if you were a small chested 26, this would work for you, um, but it's certainly not working for me. How cute is this one? This is another shirt from Seizure. And it's this um, super soft striped material. It's black and white. This whole trunk is, or almost this whole trunk, is uh, black and white, which I think is kind of cool. It's like a theme. Um, it's very soft. It's this off, off the shoulder. And it's really hard to keep it down. 
I know I've seen a hack online where you like do something down here and it actually keeps it down, but I've never like had an off the shoulder. It's got a slight bell sleeve, of course, because that's what's in right now. Um, if I keep this, I'll have to look that hack up because it's already driving me crazy because I can't, I basically can't raise my arms without this like coming up and then it's all like loose and looks weird. So unless I could find a way to like make sure that this stays down, I don't think that I would want to keep it, but it's very comfortable. It's stretchy. Um, it does have sleeves, which is not great for me in the summer, but I think at least because they're a bell, like air can get inside and this is nice and cottony. So I think it should breathe and it's pretty thin actually. So I don't know. I'll definitely consider this. Um, although off the shoulder is a hard sell for me because like I'm already annoyed in this like three minutes that I've been wearing this shirt um, because it won't stay down. But I will not rule out the fact that there are things I'm sure that could help me and keep it down. Um, and it does look, I think, really cute. And I think it is a great choice for with jeans for the summer for like a nice casual look. And our last top for the trunk is this um, kind of cream, I don't know, ivory <laughs> tank, but it has this really beautiful detailing. I'll come in close so that you can see. It's got um, crochet and then also this like cute dot fabric. And then the back is so beautiful with all that crochet work. And on the hem, it has more of that here, which is actually a problem because it means that it just barely fits on my body. And unfortunately, if it were the t-shirt, it would be great. But like, I don't wanna keep this and cut off all this really pretty trim um, because I'm sure that, you know, I. Because this is a Nordstrom box, like this is not going to be a cheap, you know, tank top. So I don't want to get it just to cut off like one of the expensive elements, which is this trim. Even though I could use it on something else, like sometimes you just want to buy clothes that you don't have to like mess with, which is a shame because I do like this. Um, although honestly, like I don't want to own a lot of white clothing because I'm very messy between eating and crafting and animals and just my life, like. This, I feel like, would get ruined so fast and I would be sad about it, but, um, so yeah. If you are not as big around, um, down below, then this would be a great fit for you. Like, there's plenty of room here for a larger chest. It just, I think if you're bigger on bottom, it just is not going to work out because as soon as I sit down and everything kind of expands, like, I think I'd be popping stitches on this because this is, like, barely around me. Like, it just went around. Um, but this is a really beautiful shirt. The quality is really nice, the crocheting is gorgeous, um, and the material like just feels like really nice material, but I don't think it's for me. And now I'll start with the few dresses that we have this time. Here's the first one, it's very on trend, it's got the boho look, the bell sleeves, it is see-through, so I did throw on my bike shorts, this is how I would wear it, this is, you know, exactly what I would wear it like. Um, if I were going out, um, I always have bike shorts or leggings on under my dresses because my thighs rub and it like prevents chub rub from happening. So that's accurate. This has a little tie in back, so it kind of helps it fit to your body. It's a great fit for me. Um, I mean, I think it's really pretty. I don't think I would ever wear this unless I had a reason. Like if I were getting married in the summer and I had the same kind of wedding that I had like in my backyard, like it was very like picnic-y, cute. I would get married in this, it's so cute. <laughs> um, although I got married in a yellow dress, so that's not really applicable. But um, if you're going to like music festivals, this would be perfect. I just can't see myself actually wearing this because it's so white, like I'm totally gonna get this dirty. Like I'm trying not to breathe on it right now <laughs> because I just feel like I'm gonna get it dirty. I don't really wear a lot of white or light colors because I do get them so stained and then I'm so sad about it. Um, I would love to see this in a color. I think, you know, if this were yellow or like a green or, you know, I mean really any color, I would be really into it and much more likely to wanna keep it because, um, I would feel more confident <laughs> that I wouldn't be screwing it up like immediately. If I'm gonna check the tag, if this is 100% cotton, I'll put it in the maybe pile because I could dye it. Um, I would love to see this dyed um, or just a color or like tie dyed even. OMG, that would be really cool. 
Um, I love this dress. It's really cool. This is their size XXL, which is the 24, but this is fitting me 26, 28 with room to spare on the bottom. Like this is a really inclusively sized dress. Um, so if you're even bigger than me, you could totally fit this. It's not stretchy, but it's, there's room here. So I'll untie it so you can see. Okay. So untied, here's how much extra room. So there's like three to four inches of room in the waist and then in the hips, like a lot more. Anyway, um, the arms have plenty of room. The bust up here has room. Like I really, I want somebody to get this dress and love it. I don't think it's going to be me for reasons I've already said, but it's so cute. I like it so much. Buy this dress and send me a picture of you in it. <laughs> you guys, what is City Chic doing to me? I love all these dresses. This maxi dress is not too long. What? <laughs> it's hitting me like at a totally appropriate length. So it has these slits on both sides. So it's very breezy. So it's probably slit up to the knee on each side. So lots of air gets in and it's very like thin and lightweight material. Um, I did not expect to like this dress. I held it up and I was like, me, but then I put it on um, and I freaking love it. <laughs> it's so thin, like what a good summer material. Um, it's so thin. Uh, I like this so much. It has this drawstring waist. So let's see. Um, ooh, the end of the ties has these spiky things. Can you see this? I didn't notice that when I was tying it. Okay, so it's fitting me great. There's some room, but not a ton of room in the hips. Let's see if I untie the drawstring and let it out. Yeah, so there's some room here in the waist and this is at my natural waist the smallest part um, but at the hips there's just not like a ton of room um, so I would say that this is a 26 28 for sure although if you have a larger chest you might have a problem because it's not stretchy none of this material on here is stretchy um, so there is room now but I don't have a very large chest like I have a B slash C um, cup so if you have like a large chest this might be a problem it's fine for me um what do y'all think i really like this and it's not too long which is blowing my mind because <laughs> everything is always too long i also have this like kind of pulled up if i pull it all the way down but that's not how i would wear it like as my belly is kind of round kind of like a pregnant belly um everything always wants to slide up so this is where it's going to end up anyway so i might as well just start it off there Anyway, I surprisingly freaking love this dress. I may have to keep it. There's one more to try on, um, so we'll see, but I can't believe I like this dress so much. I really held it up and I was like, mm. Oh no. Oh, it has pockets. You guys, I love this one too. <laughs> what is happening? I don't normally like maxi dresses, but these two, I'm like obsessed with this one. I knew I would like it as soon as I looked at it. I love um, the simple styling. I like the subtle pattern. I'll come up close so you can see. So it's like interesting but simple. I love the tiny straps. <laughs> I like that it's not tight. I love the like subtle, like almost like harem pants shaping. Um, I always love that silhouette so much. I like that it's so breezy. What a cool dress. It's not too long either. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I'm worried because I know that City Chic, you know, tends to be expensive. So I'm like, I don't know if I can afford to get both these dresses. And then there's all those tops that I liked. Oh, what am I gonna do? I love it. Here's the back. 
It's just simple, which is great. I like that. And you know, I don't own, I only own that one City Chic Maxi dress that I kept last time. <laughs> so here's two more that I like. I just like how easy this is. Like I could wear this around the house, but I could also like wear it out and actually feel cute. And I'm like, I was just talking to my mom about how I just basically want to wear like caftans um, <laughs> all the time. So this is kind of like a version of that, like so flowy and loose. Um, I would say 26, 28, um, yeah. And this is a good one for us shorter folks because both of these dresses were not too long for me and I'm about 5'5", five, five. I have a 29, 29 inch inseam, but I do have a long torso. Um, this dress, oh my gosh. I know that some people are not gonna like this because it's not flattering, but I think it's so cute on me. There are a lot of ways to um, look appealing and attractive and cute, and it doesn't always have to be like this kind of situation. Oh my gosh, okay. Final thoughts. Okay, so let's look at the prices and have final thoughts. What am I gonna pick? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to really um, make a hard decision here. Okay, so things that I liked. Off the shoulder top from Sejour, size 3X is $69. I'm gonna pass because I'm iffy on the whole off the shoulder thing and I have so many good choices, things to choose from and I'm already like freaking out, okay. Other tops, this Sejour white, like <laughs> flashing top uh, that I liked so much. It is, let's see, pleat front T 3X from Sejour. Oh, in the shade ivory. Nailed it. Um, $59, and this is, um, any one piece gets the $25 off. Oh, this is tempting. I really like this shirt. I don't know why I like it so much. It's ridiculously soft, for one. Okay, then there was this guy, the Mesh Faux two-piece. Um, let's see, mixed media t-shirt, 26, size 26 from Michelle Studio, it's 58. Um, which I think all these prices have seemed like, you know, normal to me and worth it based on the quality of materials and the craftsmanship of all these clothes. Like they're all finished so well. Like when you start looking at, um, like just like the finishing, the stitching and the material quality of things and really judging against other clothes, like you really see a difference. Um, this is so cute. But you know what, I'm gonna pass on this because I remember this was like questionably tight around my stomach um, for when I sat down. But it's so cute. I just wanna be like a millionaire so I can buy all the clothes that I want all the time. <laughs> um, all right, so here's the white dress from City Chic. And I think that of the dress choices, like, you know, this is not gonna be in the top for me. I love it. It fits great. It's so cool. And I did check the tag. It's 100% cotton. I could dye this. Oh, man. But those maxi dresses. Okay, how much is this? This one is a size 2X from City Chic, which is their size 24. But remember, this fit, City Chic sizes are crazy. Um, this fit me so well, 26, 28. Um, $89, which is about what City Chic dresses cost. It's 100% cotton, which I like so much because you know it's gonna breathe, you know that that's a nice natural fiber on your body. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know, I don't know, that's still a question mark. And then we've got the two maxis. And let's see, the Tribal Safari and the Brasilia. I don't know which one is which. I'm guessing this is the Tribal Safari. Um, when I go online to like leave feedback and to say what I'm keeping, what I'm not, it'll show me like a picture so I can match it. But I think this is the Tribal Safari, size 2X, City Chic, $89, same price as the white dress. And then this last one, I think is the Brasilia Maxi dress. Although I could completely be wrong. I have no idea. Um, this one, 99. Uh, maybe because it has like the tie. <laughs> I don't know why that would be like $10 more, but you know, you never know why people price things as they do. I loved this one also. It's 99. So, um, 
whatever I choose, I get, you know, the $25 taken off of that final price if I choose one or if I choose more things. And honestly, in this moment, I don't know what I'm going to choose, which is why I'm like just rambling about did I get the thing off? I don't know. I liked too many things. And this is the problem with the Nordstrom box is that if you like a lot of things, the stuff is more expensive. Um, so I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'll have to come back. Okay. So I looked at everything. I looked at the prices and I have come to a decision. I'm going to keep the two maxi dresses. I got too excited about them to not keep them. And I don't own anything like them at all in my wardrobe, which is kind of the idea with all of this. And while I did like some of these shirts, I have been getting a lot of tops lately from my Dia and Co boxes. So <sighs> decision made. I am very excited about these dresses. I can't wait to wear them. They're gonna be so perfect for the summer and that is what is super exciting to me. And the cool thing is, if I decide that I don't like them as maxi dresses, I can always have them altered and bring them up to like a knee length and then have, they can have a whole new life like that. And um, that's very exciting to me. I like the versatility of that. <sighs> okay, that was a really hard decision because I liked too many things from this trunk it was so good um i don't know like that was a really good trunk okay so what do you think of my choices what did you think of all that stuff that i tried on what would you have kept what do you like what would you want to wear <laughs> so many questions um a comment below i would love to hear it i always like to hear everybody's comments about things and like this video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and come join our facebook community there's a link below in the description box it's just a fun place to hang out and everybody's very supportive and kind and body positive and weight neutral which is a kind of a rarity on the internet so if that's appealing to you come join you don't have to be a woman you don't have to be a certain age you don't have to be anything in particular everyone is welcome spiel over <laughs> all right have a great day i'll see you next time bye